Hey folks, Harley Day Rider here back at you once again. In the unknowing, we're gonna call it the unknowing southwestern Pennsylvania. And the reason it's the unknowing is you don't know what this weather's gonna do. It's just like a fragile state, volatile state, I guess. But uh, we'll talk more about that there in a few minutes. I'm hoping nobody will be out here. I wanted to do some turn practicing down here, and I guess I'm not going to because there's people always here. So uh, I guess I won't do my turn practicing. It's nice to get in the parking lot sometimes and just do some tight turn practice. Uh, I did that this morning, and I got over to my parking space, and I was looking, and I was like, well... There was a car following me. I didn't even know it. One of our uh, one of our student workers was coming into work. So let's talk about that volatile state of Pennsylvania. And we talked about this before. How dumb and stupid. A very unpredictable, very unknowing, unwitting, unwilling, un... And they're not... They're an over oh, how about we say they're over-educated weather forecasters? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, come on! How could you constantly be wrong? You know, do you wake up in the morning and go, I'm going to predict the weather. Today it's going to be slightly sunny a little overcast clouds and it might rain here is my weather forecast this morning folks this is what they told me on the news and on my app on my phone that i go with today's weather it's very clear outside right now this was this morning at seven o'clock <laughs> it's very clear outside the temperature right now is about 62 degrees Fahrenheit no rain in sight there is a slight squall but that's below interstate 70 which folks is about 40 to 50 miles from where I was currently at there's not gonna be any rain until between 4 and 5 o'clock p.m. now mind you this was 6 30 quarter till 7 in the a.m. <laughs> And I decided to ride the motorcycle to work. I thought, man, I'm going to be safe. You know, I get off at 3, 3.30, and uh, I started heading home. I'll be home before it rains. The bike will be nice and clean. I don't have to worry about it. Well, guess what? You're yeah, right. I got about uh, 20 minutes from work, 15, maybe 15 to 20 minutes from work. And I started seeing the windshield getting wet. Started seeing my glasses getting wet. Huh. It was raining because the, the dumb, you know, crazy person on TV, <laughs> and I don't know, they have to drive to work and look around and be like, oh, it's overcast. Everything. They're talking about the weather at the station. I, I, I do believe that. I think I got to figure it out. The only weather they really even give a horse's shit about is the weather at the station. And, and I truly believe that. Um, because they're not anywhere else. The satellite thing's up on the roof of their station. And uh, that's what they're going with, right? So. But uh, I think it's just totally nuts. <coughs> so I guess our station was dry this morning, but not out here. <coughs> so I pulled over. I'm getting pretty good at putting my wet pants on, my uh, my rain suit though. I'm getting really good at putting the pants on. So I pulled over and I put the rain pants on and I, I got on the bike and continued on the way to work. We did manage to go out to lunch today <coughs> for one of our workers for her birthday. So we went out to lunch, coming back it downpoured and I'm thinking I hope this quits before I got a ride home. Well. Look at the beautiful blue skies that it opened up, right? 
Look how nice this all is now. So it did open up, managed to clear up. It's uh, about 78 degrees, I guess. So it's, at least it's an enjoyable ride home. But the bike now is absolutely filthy again. Um, you know, and I'm starting to think, unless I go in a ride or something with another group, I don't think I'm going to wash this motorcycle until I go away on July 8th. So, and I'm off on the, uh, well, yeah, I'm off on the 7th. Uh, so, I got some time. Uh, I'm putting in some time, additional time at work so I can take another day off. I'm taking the 7th. But I'll wash it then before we go away. Um, I'm not washing it again now. It rains. Every time I get the bike halfway to work, it rains. So, you know, I'm in one of those I don't give a crap attitudes anymore. It doesn't have to be shiny. It just has to go room, room and go forward, right? <laughs> so do you ever get tired of rain? Do you ever get tired of bad weather where you live? Have you ever thought about just selling your damn motorcycle and be like, you know what? I ain't doing this anymore. You know, it's a lot of money under my butt to ride, you know, three months a year. And, uh, and I've thought about that over and over. I know there'd be a lot of people pissed at me, uh, even just people I hang around with here. But I was thinking today how much money I could save if I didn't have a motorcycle. Uh, we all think we save money by owning a motorcycle. Well, that's a really, that's what you call a horse's ass. Uh, that's not true at all. Motorcycles cost you extra money per year, folks. <laughs> now, unless you buy yourself, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Unless you buy yourself a... a uh, maybe you bought yourself a nice second-hand motorcycle, which is all right. I had a few of those. I didn't put tires on it. I didn't put brakes on it. Uh, I changed the wheel once in a while. Uh, so I did save money with that bike. <laughs> with this bike, folks, every 5,000 miles, I'm spending $300 for a 5k service every 5,000 miles I mean so you know and uh, not to mention I have to get a new tire on the back that's $300 if you want a new tire on the front that's another $250 um, you know I lease a garage because I don't have a garage because I have a motorcycle if I didn't have a motorcycle I would have to lease a garage uh, obviously, I make motorcycle payments. Those are pretty expensive. Um, and I know people say, well, the HDR is because you bought a more expensive bike. And you know, I bought this thing used. I didn't think it was that much money when I bought it. Until after you buy it. Once you buy a motorcycle, even if you go in and you see a nice Harley Davidson or Honda or Yamaha, Kawasaki. <coughs> right? You go in and you drop... Even if you drop eight thousand dollars, you're like that ain't too much money. Eight thousand dollars, right? You got a good job. You're making decent, decent bank. <laughs> Here's the funny thing: <laughs> eight thousand dollars you get to ride in three or four months a year if you live in the, this part of the states. So, is it really worth it? And then out of that three or four months, you're riding probably three weeks out of that month because the weather is like either rainy slushy hell here just turns to crap <coughs> so am I actually bawling crying kicking my feet having a tantrum no I'm looking at life as a reality you know I love riding a motorcycle I have a great time doing it I, I like being out on the open roads I can ride all day long is it a cost-efficient uh, vehicle to have for transportation absolutely not um, you know, and most of you guys and girls out there are going to say that. Um, you know, look at, like, Sean Smoke is one of the people that I see that will ride in just about any type of weather. How many times lately have you seen him in a cage going to work? Huh? Many. Many, many times. <coughs> anyway, folks, I just wanted to get that out there. Get your opinions. You know? When it starts raining, what do you do? Do you pull over and put a rain suit on and keep going? Because that's what I do. I'm not going to uh, pull over underneath an underpass and take a nap for three hours till it passes. I'm riding my bike. Oh, man, you know, uh, I'm pretty confident I can ride in the rain. You know, there's that time they talk about 
you know, five minutes before, five minutes after, ten minutes before, ten minutes after. <coughs> Excuse me. When the oils are coming out of the road, okay, be careful then. But then, you know what? Ride your bike in the rain. It's not going to hurt it. So, why not? Let me hear from you. I want to know what you do when it starts raining, you know, or do you run for cover and hide out, or you throw a rain suit on and keep on boogieing. All right, everybody, thanks for listening to me uh, cry, whine, kick my feet, and throw a tantrum today. Other than that, I do have to tell you, I do enjoy riding, though. I love riding a motorcycle. I don't think there's a much better experience of it in the world, uh, except maybe when I was flying uh, airplanes. Uh, we talked about that in the past, and I think that was an awful cool thing to do, too. It was just uh, even way more expensive and, you know, than riding a motorcycle. And, but uh, that's for another day. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for riding along with me. I'll talk to you next time. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there, man. Take care of yourselves. Harley Day Rose going to be down and out in the volatile southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now.